Non-verbal communication is communication transmitted without the use of words, while written communication is expressed in terms of words. Oral communication involves both verbal and non-verbal elements. Characteristics of non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication is often a spontaneous, unpremeditated activity. If we want to express joy, the words expressing joy can be consciously chosen, but the expression of joy on our face will be instantaneous and involuntary. Verbal and non-verbal communication usually coexist. They have to be correlated to get the complete message. There are occasional instances of meaning being communicated only through visual signs, but these messages are extremely short. Body posture and gestures along with dress and language accurately reveal the status and education level of the communicators. If two persons are standing face to face and if one is relaxed and the other nervous and tensed up, it immediately suggests that the first one is the boss and the latter is a junior employee. Psychologists believe non-verbal communication to be more reliable than verbal communication. Non-verbal communication carries cultural bias. Certain gestures considered decent and friendly in one culture are indicative of indecency in another culture. So, cultural peculiarities should be kept in mind while interpreting non-verbal clues. It is necessary to interpret non-verbal clues in relation to their context. Change of context is likely to change their implication. For example, whether continuous eye contact suggests total attentiveness or defiance or helplessness depends on the context. Non-verbal communication is not suitable for lengthy and complex messages. When non-verbal clues are deliberately affected by political leaders or artists or bosses, they conceal the speaker's real intentions. According to Ray Bird Whitshell, in a face-to-face -face interaction, spoken words account for only 35% of the total meaning produced, while the remaining 65% is obtained only from non-verbal clues. Doesn't it a big surprise that only 7% of our meaning is communicated through words? Yes, non-verbal communication includes kinesis, paralanguage, artifactual communication, proxy mix, chronomics, listening and silence.